I think what I found most encouraging was um, people's willingness to speak freely, um, even though sometimes it was uncomfortable. Um, but, I, but I think um, we did a good job of creating a space and I mean, you know, uh, you as a facilitator, as a professor, and the student, just the willingness to come in here and kind of lay it on the table and have a, a real conversation about um, not only their experiences in the Philippines, but um, how they're going to translate that to coming back into the States. What does it mean for you now? Having a conversation with one of the students there, and, and when I was there, and, you know, we talked about the whole, uh, you know, can we just quickly buy a soccer ball somewhere? And then, you know, she definitely let me know that that was not a luxury that they had over there in Cuba. I found it really encouraging to see this, this university uh, not just hold the Divinity School over in a corner doing their thing, but actually said, you know, we need conversation across the whole campus, across all the departments. Um, and so, yeah, that was a, a wonderful surprise for me. Well, I mean, some of the um, components, specifically around race, we, mm -hmm. we were able to um, really open it up and share, like, uh, students of color were able to share their experiences here at PTS. Um, white students were able to share their um, experiences and being able to talk back and forth about those things. Yeah, all, collectively, I think the readings were very, very um, helpful to kind of, again, on multiple levels. Like, I got it for the class, I had a reflection, but then it kind of stayed with me. Like, if we, can, if we classify what we did in Cuba as mission, I am very comfortable with that. Because we went in, we were invited in, we studied with the Cuban seminarians, and hopefully they took something from us. Um, they can apply in their context, and I know for sure I can take something from them and apply it to my account. Um, but there was something about, you know, um, being there and hearing these stories about, you know, people dying because of this country, my country, um, was really unsettling. Those three things, the missiology of accompaniment, the really intentional reflection, um, and then the integration of those two, two themes was really, really helpful for me, I know. This trip has, the trip and the class as, as a whole, has really given me space to think about who I am, mm. you know, just period. <laughs> just yeah. who, who am I? You know, you go to these trips, they're in other, other countries, it's very easy to feel sorrowful for people who are in other countries and not face the issues in your own community. So I think that we did a good job of, I mean, as a, as, as a whole, like, okay, you went to Cuba, that's nice, but what you gonna do here in Pittsburgh? In that moment, I really saw the effects of, of human pollution up close and personal in a way that I never had before. So I feel really charged in uh, however my studies in that, however my passion um, for the church's response to climate change continues to, to really truly account for um, the people who are hurt most by climate change. You know, I, I tell people now that I've been there, I've seen it, I can't unsee Cuba. Mm -hmm. I can't unknow what I know about Cuba now. Um, so I, I think that I will always um, be concerned with the people of Cuba now. The advice I would give to someone is just go. Go, go, go. Um, I, I, I honestly, I believe that, and it's kind of one of the things I said to myself, that even with the great training that we had in the classes, that you still may say the wrong things, you still may do the wrong things, but it's okay that we learn from our mistakes, and so don't allow the possible mistakes that you may think that you, you may make or what you may not know uh, hinder you from a great experience. So I definitely would recommend this trip to any and everyone, uh, just because I believe that there are some things that you just can't learn from a book or in a class, but you have to experience it.